hi everyone and welcome to my electronics channel in today's video we are going to learn how we are going to publish a message from AWS IoT console to a physically available uh, IoT device with the help of MQTT test client or the MQTT protocol so as you can see here uh, I have this AWS IoT console open on my right hand side panel and the left hand and the left hand side panel shows the droid cam which shows this ESP32 Wi-Fi controller with two uh, LEDs connected to it one is the red other is the green okay so here I have I mean like on my this MQTT test client I have a JSON message payload which looks like this which has a sensor for this ESP32 and I have two nodes created as part of this JSON message uh, one is for the red LED other is for the green LED right so currently both these LED values are turned to on or which is the value is 1 what I'll do is I'll change them to 0 okay or maybe change one of them to 0 and I'll publish this message so if you see here the moment I have published this message the the change gets reflect back into the uh, this LED values okay so so this is a mechanism in which I can like send any updates to my uh, my IOT device okay so so I have changed the red LED to point to turn it to on and the green LED to off okay and if I publish this message the corresponding change reflects into the, the LED controller so in this way uh, with the help of this MQTT uh, test client I can publish to a topic so if you see here my topic name is uh, LED bulbs slash topic 001 and I have published to this topic and I have sent a JSON, pay a JSON payload or a message uh, to this topic and my ESP32 which is my Wi-Fi microcontroller is able to communicate with these devices or these things so my uh, collection of LED bulbs is a thing over here which is accessible to the wider internet and hence to this, I, this uh, the AWS IoT console with the help of this, is, uh, this ESP32 Wi-Fi microcontroller so the moment I publish this message uh, it gets sent via MQTT protocol to this topic which is LED bulbs slash topic 001 and this is the same topic to which my my ESP32 uh, is subscribed to okay so I'll show quickly the the circuit diagram for this so as you see here I have this ESP32 microcontroller which is my Wi-Fi device and I have connected two LEDs the green LED and the red LED with 220 ohms register to the terminals D26 and D27 both of which are digital output pins okay I have done a similar kind of a setup in my microcontroller but in this case I have used the the pin numbers 2 and 5 okay so let's quickly see the the circuit diagram and the, the code for it in Arduino So as you can see here, this is my uh, my Arduino ID where I have opened uh, this Arduino sketch program. Uh, so some of the the common configurations here, like the the Wi-Fi, uh, the Wi-Fi ID and the password. So so here is my main the REST API endpoint, which is being used by the the Amazon uh, the web services. So this is the REST API endpoint exposed by the Amazon where I am hosting all my topics. This is the client IP address of the, the ESP32 Wi-Fi microcontroller. So once I have connected this device to my home Wi-Fi router, this is the IP address which it gets. Okay, And I have like, created one topic over here which is this LED bulb slash topic 001 to which I am posting my, my MQTT messages. So output 2 and, and output 5 are two uh, like LED outputs which is 2 and 5 which I am using uh, down below. Uh, these are pretty much the simple standard format of the callback handlers which is used to connect to the Wi-Fi and then receive the payload structure so I'll skip these sections the connect to Wi-Fi is that 
a standard mechanism of connecting to a Wi-Fi SSID and the password. Okay. And I have also connected to the uh, uh, this AWS. The host address is the same as my uh, my official uh, my ID over there, which is the the REST API endpoint. And I have connected to this topic and subscribe to this topic name okay so as soon as the uh, subscription is successful it will show all the messages over here as a uh, like subscribe to topic successful then finally uh, in my loop method what I have done here is uh, I'm like using a message callback where my received payload is this variable re rcvd payload and once this message is being received over here i am converting this payload into a json buffer and i'm using it to show the the values of this led in the right i mean so in the right status okay so my node 1 and node 2 are the are the two json entities if you see here on top so this is my the node 1 which is the red led and the node 2 stands for the green led I have captured both the values over here and from there I am like extracting the value uh, whether it is 0 or 1 and finally uh, I am writing those things into the the main output pins which is 2 and 5 so these integer values red LED and the green LED uh, depending on whether it is 0 or 1 is controlling the the state of the LED with the help of this the digital write method okay so if it is zero the the red LED will turn off if it is one the red LED will turn on okay and so that's how it works basically so simple logic and so using this uh, so you can pretty much post all your updates from this aws iot console to uh, to any like physical iot devices uh, available over the wi-fi or in the internet so I hope you like this video. Uh, so if it is helpful, please like and subscribe to my uh, to my channel. And and thank you so much for watching.